up to page 329 and 330 to correct today's or last night's homework. So we started with number 4, 10, and 12. So if we look on page 329, number 4, they set it up for you. So if we go through our whole division problem, we should have wound up with 2 and 25 hundredths as our answer. Raise your hand if that is the answer you got for number four. Awesome. Does anyone have a question about number four? Richie, do you have a question? No. Okay. Okay. Awesome, you guys. Then we had number 10. And so number 10 wasn't set up for us. And you guys, I, I just want to apologize again. I know that our workbook doesn't always give you the most space for division problems, but I noticed what a lot of you did is you were thinking, hey, I'm going to need space. So you moved your work kind of up in one of these areas, and you went down that way. And so that was a great idea. Or if you like to do your work on a Post-it and stick it on the page, that's a good idea. Or if you like to take like a piece of notebook paper and do it that way, that also works. Way to think. Yes. You're right. Very back of your workbook, there are blank pages for work as well. So fifth grade, when we take 25 and 6 tenths divided by 4, we wind up getting 6 and 4 tenths. Raise your hand if you got 6 and 4 tenths for number 10. Okay, okay. Are there questions on number 10? Questions. Because if we're dividing by 4, we would immediately ask how many times does 4 go into 25? And it goes in 6 times. 6 times 4 is 24. So 25 minus 24 would leave you with a 1. Then you bring down the 6 for 16. 4 equally goes into 16 4 times. 16 minus 16 is 0. And you bring up that decimal right between the 6 and the 4. Then we had number 12. Number 12, same thing. They didn't give you nearly enough room, so I saw a lot of people moving their work elsewhere. When we take 2 and 4 tenths and divide it by 16, we wind up with 15 hundredths. Because 16 can't go into 2, but it can go into 24 once. And 24 minus 16 is 8. Yes, 8. So then we can add one of those zeros like we practiced yesterday onto 2.4, add a 0, bring it down, and we wind up with 80. And 16 evenly goes into 80 five times. And we bring up the decimal, it goes before the 1, so you should have added a 0 in front of it. How many of you remember to add a 0 in the 1's place? How many of you remember to do that? Nice work, 5th grade. Are there any questions on number 12? Okay. So just on these three problems, show me 1 through 5, how did you feel about them? Just on these three problems, how do we feel? I don't know. Awesome. Okay. All right. Hands down. Thank you. Now let's go on to our last two problems, 14 and 19. So for number 14, um, Kara paid $24.64 to ship 11 packages. Each package was the same size and weight. How much did it cost to ship one package? So we're told there's 11 packages. It costs $24.64 to ship all 11 to figure out how much it would cost to ship just one, then we would take that price and divide it by 11. No, they had it. They have their dollar sign. But you could say $2.24 per package. That would have worked. Mm -hmm. Or for one package. Awesome. So, yes, when we divide $24.64 by 11, we get 2.24. Don't forget that dollar sign, $2.64, and you could have said per package or for one package. Are there questions on number 14? All right. How many of you got number 14 correct? Nice work, fifth grade. Philip, sit up, bud. All right, and then we had number 19. So for number 19, this one, this one tripped up a few people. Todd is saving for a vacation. The cost of his vacation is $1,089. Oh, said that wrong. $1,089. Todd has a year to save the money. About how much 
does he need to save each month to reach his goal? That word about tells us to what? Round. Round. Yes, I saw a lot of people going, okay, 1,089 divided by 12. And you're like, no, that word about means round. So I think what a lot of you did was you rounded the 1089 to $1,000, and you rounded 12 to 10. So if we take 1,000 divided by 10, that would be 100. So about $100 would work. I think what they did is they, let's see, what did they do to get 90? I would say if your answer is somewhere between 90 and $110, you're like in a good range for an estimate. I didn't round it. I still got 90. Yes, because that's the exact price. But on a test, Richie, you get points taken off for not rounding. Okay. I thought I did the thing that I rounded the Technically, yep. Yeah, technically, that would work. But remember, when it says about, we want to round the two numbers we're working with before we get the answer. Yeah, we want to round first. Nice job. How do we feel about number nineteen? How do we feel? Okay. Layla, do you have a question? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Still works. Next time, remember to round, though. Okay. Nice job. Overall, entire homework assignment, one through five, how did you feel? One through five, how did you feel about this entire homework assignment? Okay. Drew, how did you feel? Okay. Philip, how did you feel? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Michael, pick one. Okay. Hands down. Pick one. Okay. All right. Open up in your workbook to your next clean page for today's notes.